I, I do work very hard and I do get really tired. But when I'm home, I'm so lazy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I literally drop my shoes there. I, I can't cook. I, I'm uh, the worst house. I'm the worst. Anything to do with cleaning, cooking, anything domestic, I'm just really bad mm -hmm. at it. Yeah. Well, that's I all have right. time. I'll, I'll yeah, figure you know, it I out. Yeah, I mean, sure, you got other things, other priorities right now. Little, little things. <laughs> Beyonce don't know how to cook, clean, but she still got somebody to marry her. Erica Badu, on the other hand, be cooking, cleaning. She be praying and shit. She be jumping on the trampoline in the backyard, and nobody tried to marry her. And she looked good, too. You got these brothers lined up to have a baby with her. But nobody proposed. She talking about Beyonce swagger jacking. But if she was, Beyonce would have a baby with Usher, Sean Paul, and all them other dudes she dated. I ain't gonna lie. I love me some America Badu, but I'd be damned if she come for the Queen B for wearing a big old hat. Erica Badu appears to shade Beyonce, accusing the star of copying her look on the Renaissance tour. Yeah, she stole the look. But her hat is bigger and better. Now I know it sounds like I'm doing that girly gossiping and spilling tea. But the rumor is allegedly Beyonce feel like Erica Badu need to shut the fuck up about this swagger jacking. Because if she was really trying to swagger jack Erica Badu, she would be out here toting more bags than the bag lady. And it ain't like Erica ain't have a man that wanted to marry her. Andre 3000 was crazy about her, wrote songs and albums about her. And when he made the song Miss Jackson, she said the song was alright, but her mother was the one that was really feeling the song. Miss Jackson was wondering how come Erica didn't marry Andre, just like everybody else in the world was wondering how come Erica didn't marry Andre. What was your reaction when you heard that song? Which one? Uh, Miss Jackson. I was I was working on Mama's Gun at the time, and James Poyser busted into the room. So, have you have you heard Miss Jackson yet? I was like, No, I haven't. And then he started playing it, you know. And I still had a kind of sore spot, you know. Mm. I didn't want to hear that, you know. And especially when I heard Big Boy's verse, then when I heard Andre's verse, I felt very good mm. because his verse was was really really inspiring. Mm. You know, me and your daughter. Got yes. a special thing, go. Oh, you know, he just told yeah. how he felt, yeah. and it was <clears throat> his honest feelings. And I've always respected that, mm -hmm. and listened to what he felt and appreciated it. So I liked it. But how did my mama feel? Our mm -hmm. baby, she bought her a Miss Jackson license plate. <laughs> she had, she had the mug, merch, merch, <laughs> pop up shop. She had the ink pen. She had the headband. Everything, you know. She loved it. That's who loved it. Mm -hmm. Y'all want to know what I think it is? It sounds like she unappreciative. It's only two hot rappers in the rap game that really know how to rap. And that's Jay-Z and Andre 3000. Beyonce got one of them. Erica Badu had another one of them. But Beyonce is married to one. And Erica let the other one go so she could run the streets or whatever it is that she do. I don't know. If any of these dudes ever tried to propose to her, I'm pretty sure they did. But obviously, she ain't want to get married. And poor 3000 changed his whole life when he met her. I mean, he stopped gang banging. He stopped eating chicken wings, riding in Cadillacs with Big Boy. He switched his whole life around just to please this woman. And she still went off and had other multiple baby daddies. Beyonce ain't never did that because she the queen B. And I know it sounds like I'm doing that girly gossip and then spilling tea, man. But what Erica Badu will not do is disrespect Beyonce, man. She done paved the way for plenty of hood rats and thoughts. All Erica Badu did was make it easy for herbal tea chicks to have multiple baby daddies and get away with it, man. Now I would never disrespect Erica Badu neither. But the way she did Andre 3000 after he changed his life for her got me looking at her all types of crazy. Andre felt like he had to change his life. A lot of things that he was doing, he said that he didn't want to do them anymore. He stopped drinking, he stopped eating meat, he stopped smoking. 
he grew his hair, you know, he got into books and spiritualism. He even went as far as to practice celibacy for about a year. He found some kind of clarity and he decided he was going to show who he was and not be made into anything. I still remember like one day he was jeans and t-shirt and a fresh, fresh pair of sneakers on and then BAM! He's in turban. And it was actually a hat that you get from the beauty supply store. You know, like little grandmama has that you wear in church. Dre walks out with a turban on and everybody's looking like, man, what in the hell is Dre doing? What does he have on? And the next second, you're going out to the mall and everybody got on turbans. He was doing a vegan thing and he happened to meet a girl that was into the same thing. He met Erica Badu at a club in New York. Erica Badu was a soul singer that just burst onto the music scene. Erica was bohemian, she was intelligent, she was different and daring. And those are the aspects that were starting to come out in Dre. I never seen two people fall in love so fast, so quick. Eric and Dre grew really close, and the next thing you know, wham, Eric is pregnant. On November the 18th, 1997, I'll never forget it, I got a call and says, Andre needs to get to Dallas, Texas, because his son, Seven Sirius Benjamin, was being born. The birth of Seven was another catalyst in Dre's life. It propelled him further into becoming serious about who he was. Erica, you need to keep Beyonce name out your motherfucking mouth. How come you ain't marry Andre? You got with Jay Electronica because he was trying to get on and fit in with some other dope rappers and figure he'll be a legend regardless if he make an album or not, if he have a baby with Erica Badu. DOC, he gotta be friends with all these different dudes that came into the picture after him. She gotta be the worst baby mother in the world. You figure if she would have got married and had a family and that's your baby moms, at least you know how to pick them. But every last one of her baby daddies got to deal with the fact that they baby mama been with other dudes in a same profession and got babies by them same dudes. So they wondering, did she ever love me for real? Or was she with me just because I knew how to rap? Is she a hip hop groupie? And I know. I sound crazy talking about this woman like that. She admired and loved by plenty of fans and I'm one of them. If I had the chance, I would have a baby with her. And by the way she looks, she could probably still have babies, man. And I can't hate on this woman for embracing her womanhood, but you ain't about to be talking about Beyonce without me snap, snap, snapping in a circle. No, man. This got me pissed off. If you want to talk about anybody, you got plenty of chicks out here you could be talking about. Not Beyonce, Erica. That's what you not going to do. I'm mad at the fact that just because somebody wear a big hat and every now and then spit a rap, then have babies by a rapper, meaning that they swag a jack in Erica Badu, she need to calm down. So what Beyonce swagger jack and she got the right to do that as many people swagger jack and Beyonce man How many chicks you know out here with the Mary J Bly's blonde wigs? Poor DOC Can't even talk and speak up and tell her how he really feel about her We all know he heartbroken that his baby mother got multiple baby daddies But Beyonce ain't do that and Erica still got the nerve to be running her mouth about Queen B. Yonce? I refuse to sit idly by and not say nothing. And on top of that, she ain't married my favorite rapper. He out here single playing the flute when he's supposed to be with Erica. Enough is enough, man. If you gonna talk about somebody, you could talk about Sexy Red, Megan Thee Stallion, Cardi B. There's plenty of thoughts that deserve to get a spanking. How come ain't nobody marry her, man? You got all these dudes lined up to go to pound town, but nobody trying to put a ring on it. And she got the nerve to be speak. Matter of fact, y'all need to listen to the pain in this man's voice, man. You have a, you have a baby with Erica. Yeah. Right. She also has kids with Andre 3000 mm -hmm. and, uh, Jay electronic. Yep. And, 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 uh, Jay electronic. and electronic, uh, beautiful daughter. I mean, how coincident, coincidental is it that she has kids by such dope rappers? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you're talking about three of some of the best rappers who ever did it. Like, 
Do you interact with Andre 3000 and sure, Jay Electronica? Sure, those are great friends. Right, because you guys are all family. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, there's no hate in that house. Like, we all love one another and want the best for one another. Yeah. And, and I'm a fan of both of those guys. Yeah, me, me too. Yeah, so, and, and they both like my music, you know, and want the best for me. If I called any one of them, they'd come, you know. But I'm not into that, you know. Uh, um, but I certainly respect them a great deal and love them a great deal and their kids. Miss Erica Badu, I love you. But if you don't get married by 2024, all them rituals and stuff you be doing ain't working. You might as well take them altars, clean them with some Florida water, and put them in a the closet. It don't never go back in there. Slam the dough on all that stuff you've been doing. How come you can't keep no man? Talking about Beyonce, so wag a jacket. How? Y'all gonna have to let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section, man. And like I said, no disrespect to Queen B or to Queen Erica Badu. There's rumors going on out here that Beyonce is talking behind this woman's back. Now, I don't know if it's true or not, but people been wondering, how come a woman that vibrant, that beautiful, that abundant, that fertile, ain't got no husband, man. She clearly like dudes and they clearly love her. Not one of her baby daddies had nothing negative to say about her. So how come none of them tried to wife her up? I don't know. That's her personal business. But as far as her coming at a married woman talking about she swagger jacking, I don't know how that make any sense, man. Y'all gonna have to let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section. Make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Also hit that notification button too and hit that cash app, dollar sign Sean Blaze Docs. I would appreciate that. I'm gonna holler at y'all on the next video. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. Subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. Subscribe.